welcome to Advaita's session on Drig Drishya Viveka. That is the name of the text that we will be starting today. Viveka is a word that everybody knows. We've been walking on the spiritual path so long that we have understood that Viveka is the power of discrimination. It's not some special supernatural power, simply being able to discriminate between right and wrong. Everybody can do this, whether the person is spiritual or non-spiritual. Yeah? This is a function of the intellect. So Viveka simply means the power of discrimination. Drig and Drishya is the seer and that which is seen. Seer and the seen. So Drig, Drishya, Viveka simply means the power of discrimination or discriminating between the seer and the seen. So verse 1. Rupam drishyam lochanam drik, tad drishyam drik tu manasam, drishyadi vritaya sakshi, drikke natu drishyate. What it means simply that form is what is seen and the I, E-Y-E, I is the seer. Yeah. Now, form is nothing but shape and the color of that shape. Look around your room. Whatever you see with your eyes, it is nothing but a shape with color. Is there anything else to sight? Tell me. It doesn't matter whether it's a living being or a non-living being. All that is there to form is shape and the color of that shape. That's it. It doesn't matter whether it is a two-dimensional or three-dimensional shape. It's just a shape. Yeah. Shape and color. This is form. This is what the eye sees. The second is, the I now becomes that which is seen. And who is seeing now? The mind is the seer. Is this your experience? Yes? Does the mind understand that it is looking at Ekta on the screen through those eyes? Yes. Who said yes? The mind said yes. So, the mind can see the eye as well. Now, close the eye. Yeah. The mind knows that the eyes are closed. Correct? Yeah. So, the mind here is the seer and the eye itself is the seen. We've already been practicing this. Now, we take one more step. Next is now, this mind now itself becomes the scene along with its thoughts. You can see a thought coming and going. Yeah, so the mind along with its thoughts has become the scene and there is a seer. Yes, that is the sakshi. The word Sakshi is used in the Sanskrit text. Sakshi in English is witness. That which witnesses everything. Yes. The last part of the sutra is very essential. Though it sees the mind, Natu Drishyate, it cannot be seen. Means there is nothing beyond the Sakshi to be able to see the Sakshi. 
Understood that? Yes. You cannot see the Sakshi. Can the eyes turn inward? Can I turn my eyes inwards to see it? No. I cannot see it. Yes. The Sakshi cannot be seen. You can be the Sakshi. And by being the Sakshi, you know the Sakshi. Which one of this is you? For example, an object, the phone. Okay? If I can see something, that means there is a separation between me and this thing. That means I am different and this is different. Yes? So by elimination, this is not I. Very clear? Can, can this be I if I can see it? No, it's not I. So, if I can see the body, the I is nothing but the body. E by E. This I is nothing but the body. I can see it. That means I am not the body. Process of elimination. If I can see it, I am different from it. Yes? I am not it. I can see it. So that means I am not this body. Now let's go in one more step. I can see the thoughts in the mind. That means mind is different and I am different. Yes? If I am different from this mind, that means I am not the mind. I am the knower. But what happens to me? I get so lost in the mind and the mind stories that I start thinking I am the mind. Yes, I get so consumed by the world of thought first and the feelings. I say my feeling, my thought. Is it my feeling, my thought? No, it is separate from me. I can see it. If I can see it separately, that means it is not I. I am that knower. Be in the knower. But what happens? Where does the slip happen? The mind pulls me into something interesting. Some interesting story. Masala it has. Or it has some very tasty, delicious feeling that it pulls me into. And then I forget the knower. Knower is gone. Witnessing is gone. Advaita is gone. Out the window. I'm lost in my story. Because it's the same knower actually that forgot itself and again became one with the mind. Did you start experiencing it that it is not two? There is no two. It is the same knower. It forgets itself. It becomes the mind and it feels as if it is feeling, it thinks that it is thinking, it gets lost in a drama. Again, you remember, oh, I'm supposed to be doing the contemplation meditation. Again, the knower remembers himself and comes back. Are you seeing this? There is no two really. Yeah? This knower, this witness, Sakshi, in Activity becomes the mind. The same mind, when it comes to rest, it is the knower. There is no two to begin with only. Now do you understand the meaning of Advaita? Right from the beginning, there is no two. It is just an assumption, just an assumption. Yeah? It's just a story created in the mind. Very clear? The first verse is very, very clear.